Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 5 of my full platinum walkthrough for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Uh, for you, this may have been like a minute since you've seen part 4. I've not, it's been two weeks since I did part 4, so a little bit rusty on the gameplay here, but it will be fine. Uh, yes, so we're going to be going to Ashina Castle and starting that off a little bit, and then we're going to be doing uh, Ashina Reservoir, which is the first part of the game again, but there's mini bosses there, two mini bosses. And one on the way in. So we're going to go back to Ashna outskirts here, and then we're going to head into the castle. This is where we fought the uh, the guy on the horse. I'm not even going to try and remember what his name is. Five minutes ago, I wouldn't have remembered. Never mind. Two weeks. Uh, so we're going to go up here. You don't need to be slow here because you can just run. He's got a rifle. He'll try and shoot you. Just get around back, around the back, hit him a couple of times, and then we're going to go up here. If you remember, we uh, spoke to the guy about a rat problem. Uh, so that's what we're going to just deal with here. So duck here, and you can eavesdrop to listen to this if you want to. Uh, always listen to the eavesdrops. I do miss one in this video. It's not an important one, but do listen to all the eavesdrops and conversations because uh, some of them are important. I'll let you know, obviously, if they are important ones. Uh, get the axe ready because you're going to need it, the loaded axe. And there's actually another rat here around this corner uh, behind this tree, so take him down first. Uh, they are a real pain, these little guys. Uh, they are quite tough because of the, the headgear they're wearing. Uh, it acts as a shield, but the loaded axe will cut through it. So go for the lower one first, and the, obviously this one's going to wake up. And I do go with the axe here, and I do hit him, uh, but it doesn't break his hat, which I thought was a bit weird. It's supposed to. Um, so we just have to wait for him to come back around and try again. And a miss, of course, because... Good stuff. <laughs> That's the problem with the axe. It is quite slow. Uh, so you do have to wait for that opening. There we go. That's what should have happened the first time. Take him down. You're going to get black gunpowder. You should get the black I'm pretty sure that's uh, uh, that's going to drop for you. But there's pellets here as well. And then we just jump over this wall. And we're going to head back to the guy. And uh, speak to him. Tell him that we've dealt with the rat. And he's going to give us the Ashna Esoteric Text. With, which is... Uh, Upgrade paths, or uh, skill trees, should I say? Part of the skill tree. So we're just going to run up here. Have to put your sword away, so you'll be moving slowly here. Quickly speak to him. I'm going to skip it. Obviously, we don't need to listen to it, but eventually he'll give you the Ashina Esoteric Text, which is another path, as I just said. And uh, that's all we need to speak to him for. He does go on with himself a bit, but we'll speak to him later on. We'll see him again later. But for now, that's all we need. So we're going to head back and do exactly what we just did. And I always have to walk over these because it does the weird camera movement. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I think I did it in the other video. I can't remember. It was two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to refresh here because I did lose a bit of health. You don't, if you didn't, then you don't need to. Get some more spirit emblems as well. So we've got the rifle guy. Uh, we'll actually be moving on this time. I will take the one behind the tree here. It's not essential, but it's free money and XP, I suppose. You, I know I do have said mentioned that you can't see my uh, my XP bar, but uh, I will be telling you when to upgrade. I'm not going to do any in this video, but I will do some at the uh, in the next one, the beginning of the next one. So there's going to be three wolves here. You can take each of the three wolves down silently with the shuriken. So do that and then lock onto the guy and uh, kill him. Nice and simple, proper samurai style there. Uh, this guy might not be at the bottom of the stairs. He's more than likely going to be at the top of the stairs with the other one. Uh, I don't know why he didn't walk. I think that was just a weird bug. Uh, he should be walking up. But uh, go for the one with the hat on if that's the case because uh, they are a bit tougher. And then take the other one down. But be aware that there may be one coming down the stairs as well. I'm just taking the left side here. Here he is. Uh, so be aware that he is going to appear as well. Mm, not too tough for the hat. Usually the hat ones are tougher. Guess not. Right, up we go again. Just to give you a layout of what's going on. So, there's going to be two giants here. So stick to the grass here. And there's going to be one guy here. Take him down. And then you can see the big guy. 
right next to him to the right hand side there's another big guy so quickly get this one and kill him and then take this one down as well pretty quickly but do watch out for the other one with the hammer oh just got it in time the invincibility of the uh, the animation and uh, yeah quite simple straight really try and block my timing is well off in this video like I said two weeks ago since I've done this at least uh, or played this not the best I know not very professional at all so you should be able to cut through him pretty quickly now that we have some uh, uh, the sword upgrade from the boss that we just did you're gonna find it's a bit a bit easier now things are a bit easier so take him down and we're just going to go back slightly and look over the ledge here. It's actually behind me. There it is. If we could drop down and pick up the Aiko's sugar. You can actually turn around and just go the other way on the wall. But uh, I'm just going to jump across here and we'll carry on. So yeah, the sugar, we'll actually be using some of the sugar for two of the, uh, the mini boss fights that we've got coming up. We've actually got three coming up, one very shortly. Couple of guys up there before we go up there. Just come around here, grab some scrap iron, upgrade material. Need as much of that as we can get. A fistful of ash, like as I did say, I'm not going to be putting those on anymore because it's just not important, really. So before we get those two, there is a uh, eavesdrop point here, so you can listen to that as well with those two. Uh, when I come back, I just kill them straight away. Like coin purse. And then jump across. Kind of backtracking a bit here, but if you jump across, use your grapple. And you will see that there are some geckos, Gachin sugar there, on the wall. If you hit one, they're all going to drop. I didn't get that one. They are pretty quick and they do uh, poison damage, This that spray there. So take care of all those. It's a lot easier just to use the uh, the shurikens. Get some extra scrap there. And we're just going to head back to that roof. Like I said, listen to the eavesdrop. You're going to see me just kind of jump off and get the first one. And it's in midair, I realise. I, I forgot that this is actually an eavesdrop. Yeah, I can see it here. I don't know why I'm not doing it. I guess I was just concentrating on the, the guy with the hat. I wanted to take him down first. Anyway, take them both down. And now we're going to do a backup save. So I did show you in the previous video how to do that. Uh, so do that if you want to. It's not mandatory. It just helps with, you know, losing money. It goes around that system of losing money and XP. So uh, do it if you want. If not, you will have to do a run back, which is never that fun. So, we want firecrackers for this boss. It's a horrible boss. I hate this boss, honestly. It's not particularly difficult. It's just a bit of a pain. Uh, yeah, so take that first guy down and don't worry about the next two. Just try and get out of the way of the bull. That was terrible. <laughs> uh, so the bull is uh, a pain, honestly. You want to just try and get behind it. He, the, he takes most damage when you hit his head. But also, he has those things on fire attached to his head. So you want to stay away from the head, if that makes sense. You see how little damage... This is a sort of uh, health over uh, posture bar fight. So you want to be using your run as well. I find it easier to actually run, hold down circle and run around him rather than dodge. And you just want to be trying chipping away at the health. Uh, he does go into an aggroed state and go crazy at one point. That's what you want. That's the point you're going to kill him. Sometimes it is just a pain to really get around him. So firecrackers do make him rear up, but you can also not depend on firecrackers. They're a bit odd. Uh, they're not going to help you in a pinch. So if he comes running towards you and you use firecrackers, it's not going to help. I did that on purpose, honestly. Uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's, it's a bit hit and miss, it's a bit weird. But uh, they are going to make him rear up and let you do some damage to him. But yeah, you're just going to want to chip away at him and try and stay behind uh, and stay away from those uh, charges and head swings that he does. I know it's difficult because you're trying to do uh, damage to him, but uh, he does hit hard. 
So what we're waiting for is him to go in a frenzy, which he's going to do shortly. And when he does that, if he hits a wall, he's going to knock himself down and allow you to get a death blow. So essentially that's what we're waiting for. So keep just chipping away. See there, the head does extra damage. I think he's about to do it. Yeah, again, Firecrackers did nothing there. I do think he's about to do it short. Again, nothing there. Come on. Right, I think he's going to go off in a minute. There, now. Because I didn't firecracker, but he reared up. And then he's going to start going crazy. And uh, hit the wall. And make sure once you, he's done that, get right up quick and get that death blow in. And that'll be the fight over. It's just a pain, this one. This is why we did the backup save as well. Because it's just easier, and then doing the run back, because chances are you will die, maybe. And we'll get to a uh, prayer beard, a prayer beard, a prayer bead, uh, shinobi medicine there as well. Two guys are going to open this door up, they're going to come for you. I was thinking he has a spear, he's going to do uh, the dash, but he did not at all. So I'm going to just firecracker to try and get through, and then he does the dash when I'm <laughs> the lunge. I wasn't ready for him. They're easy enough. The the enemies couple of hits and they'll go down. Scoop everything up. You can speak to the old lady here. I'm just going to skip the dialogue. And then you can rest. And we do have enough uh, prayer beads to do another upgrade, so we're going to do that. So enhance physical attributes. And now we have a bit more vitality. So when it comes to skills, you're probably going to have some skill points at this point. Uh, just grab any of the ones I already have if you don't already have them. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade any until the beginning of the next video. But I'm thinking this one could help suppress present. I don't actually have enough. Uh, no, I think I just have over two at this point. It's, it's one of those games where no matter where I put the blue banner... It was in the way of something. Uh, health items is not the best. Uh, so I had to put it in that top right corner. So we're jumping across. Get some light uh, coin purse there. Eavesdrop here. And then we're going to sneak around and kill the one with the back to us first. And he's going to drop the gatehouse key. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Come on. So we'll be using that shortly in the reservoir. Yeah, we will be going... This uh, this actually, this bit is the bit, the start of the game. Uh, we'll be going down there shortly as well. So you may recognise it. We're on the bridge that we went underneath. Back to the shurikens here. There are some wolves around. Three wolves. Take those three down and wait for the big guy to de aggro. Or he's not aggroed at this point, he's just kind of inquisitive. So wait for him to reset because you don't want to fight him. It's not fun to fight this one. So we're going to stealth kill him. There we go. So don't worry, he's not going to see you. Stay crouched and just drop down to the right here. Keep it tight on the right hand side until you're behind him. Lock on, get close, and there is a death blow opportunity. It's You wouldn't think there would be, but uh, there is. And he's going to drop that scrap. I'm pretty sure that is going to drop for you. So again, that's the start of the game. We'll be going over there shortly. Some black gunpowder, another upgrade material. Heavy coin purse here, lots of money. And speaking of which, there is another merchant here. And we are actually going to purchase something from him. A prayer bead. You should have plenty of money stashed away at this point, hopefully. If not, do remember to come back here and grab this. 
but he has a lot of coin purses as well. He has four light and three heavy, so you can come here at any point and cash it in uh, to save your money if you think you're going to die. We need 1400 for that prayer bead, so if you go to sell items, you can actually sell the coin purses that you have so you know uh, exactly how much you're going to get here. So 1000 for the bulging if you did get that one in the uh, Harata estate, and then the light coin purse there. That's going to make me up to 1404, perfect. I'm going to buy the prayer bead. Need as many of those as we can at this point. And I don't know why I'm listening. Come on. So yeah, do remember to come back if you did not have enough to get that. We'll be going down there later. We're not going to do that yet. We're just going to end this here. Get this idle so we can come back. And we're going to go back to Ashner Castle. So you know exactly where we are now, bottom of the stairs. Don't go up there, there's a mini boss and a bunch of guys are not doing that yet, that's the next video. Uh, yeah, so speak to, uh, not speak to anyone here, or they technically do speak to you. Uh, yeah, listen to that, the remnant. Nothing here, we will be going down into that water and things later on. Carp and stuff like that down there. For now we've got some heavy doors to open. not like they're even loading screens, are they? It's not hidden loading screen, it's just effect. Right, so we've got scrap iron and an amiibo possession balloon, which you'll never see me use. Feel free to do it whenever you like. It's just one of those items I don't use. I save and save and save and never actually use. We're not going to drop down the other way, we're going to drop down this way. Open this up. And this is going to lead us back to the beginning of the game. So you remember where we fought our very first mini boss, that samurai, uh, in the dark, in the night, just after we got our sword. This is where we are now. So rest here at the sculptor, at the sculptor's idol, should I say. There is an eavesdrop, we'll get that sh in a minute. Get that shortly. We're just going to head on over here and grab a couple of things. So this is the bridge from the beginning. So jump, jump, and hold square. And just drop down here and then grapple across. And then do be careful, there is a rat down here. So you can drop down just behind him. And yeah, if you think you might mess this up, have your axe ready. I'm hugging a wall because I'm trying to pick the items up. Another rat here. I think this one drops some scrap for me. It is a, a random drop. Scrap iron. Yes, and then here is a heavy coin purse and some scrap iron. And that's uh, essentially all we came for. I th think... And When I was doing this, I was thinking there's another item somewhere. It's behind me. There's another rat on the floor behind me. If you drop down again where the water is, down there. Yes, it's rusty. I do. I'm rusty. <laughs> I do apologize. I did the uh, research for this two weeks ago as well. I know. I'm sorry. It will not happen again. But yes, there is an item behind there, and that item I did forget on purpose. It's just some pellets. You can climb across the bridge and go and get those if you want. I'm not going to waste the time doing that. I will probably run back in the next video and grab that item. Uh, to make sure uh, you know where it is. So listen to the eavesdrop here, and then we'll take these down. There are some dogs, so have your shurikens ready. It's up to you how you deal with this. You can take the dogs out first, or you can try and take the guy, uh, the guys out first. Whoa, I'm not ready with that. He was uh, he was not happy about me killing his friend, was he? Yeah, shuriken would have been best trying to not parry. <laughs> yeah, we'll just get rid of them the easy way. So we're not going to go that way because there's a whole load of any enemies there. We're going to go this way, grapple across, and then jump across. Forget him. Just go right round to the left-hand side and kill this one. I was a bit late there on the on the kill. 
Uh, but he has a, a gong. He's going to start alerting everyone. Uh, I think I was okay, but this one did see me for some reason. He doesn't know I'm here. Oh, no, that's not fun. So now we're just going to pick them off. There are two of the giants down there. Well, not really giants, but you know what I mean. The guys with the hammer. Let him reset. He's got a rifle, so I want to get rid of him. There's another guy with a rifle just below him there. But the big guy will see you. So we'll just come around here and use the key that we got previously, the gatehouse key. And in here is going to be Shinobi Prosthetic number 6. And a heavy coin purse. So this is a spear, essentially. It's not another one. It does pull enemies towards you. It can be helpful, but I don't use it often, to be honest. So there is one here. There's another one. So you will remember this, hopefully, from the very beginning. This is where we are. Uh, whatever you do, do not run up the stairs. Oh, that was bad. Move too soon there. The second rule of the crisis situation. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you get that reference, I'll be impressed. Um, yeah, so if you do get alert, if the enemies do get alerted, then you can just hide under the house and let them uh, diagro, or you can just come round and uh, kill any of the others, which I'm about to do. He's not seen me, so I can still get that death blow. I know the other one has the other the big guy there. But uh, we'll uh, calm him down in a moment. Yeah, you can see me tapping the L1. It's, uh, yeah, and then I just didn't parry at all. Yeah, a little bit rusty, like I said. So instead of fighting him, you can come up here and just hide away. I didn't become inquisitive again. There we go. And this will allow you to get a death blow if you, as long as he doesn't see you, obviously. I was going to try and jump off here and do it, but uh, yeah, I couldn't walk to the edge. So we'll uh, walk around and get him. So yeah, don't go up the stairs, because there is a mini boss there. Grab some pellets. So next we'll do the fight. The seven Ashina Spears, Shikibu, <laughs> God, uh, Shikibu Toshikatsu Yamauchi. Yep, I'm not going to try that again. <sighs> Sorry. So we're going to take the same route that we did to uh, meet our master and get our sword right at the start of the game. Because we can get uh, a death blow on him, which is always good. And um, we're going to use... Brute force on this guy as well, essentially. We're going to use some sugar, and uh, you can see how effective it can be and why you want to save it. So you can see him just walking down there. Do a backup save here if you can, because you don't want to burn through all your sugar and not have any left. So I've just done a quick one myself, because uh, it just makes recording easier if I mess it up as well. So the sugar that we want is the blue one, Ungo's Sugar. This helps with our vitality damage. So... Uh, we will take slightly less damage while trying to do as much damage as possible. So we're going to need the loaded axe. We're trying to do posture damage here. So creep up behind him. Take your sugar. And then death blow him. That's not even wrong. And then what you want to do is axe. One, two. Axe. One, two. Don't worry if he hits you. He, more, more than likely he will hit you a couple of times, but because we took that sugar, he's not going to do too much damage. So just keep the same rhythm going. Axe, one, two. Axe, one, two. And eventually, you can see at the top, his bar is nearly full. One more axe will do it. And death blow. And he is down. We get a prayer bead for that. Uh, that's essentially why we're here, to get the prayer bead. And uh, yeah, that was... A lot easier than he usually is if you fight him one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> you can uh, cheaply just take him down. 
There are a few bosses. There are ways around this game. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the more difficult ones, but uh, from software game that is. But there are ways around certain bosses. Some of them you do have to get good, <laughs> as it were. Uh, so we've got the Jizo, uh, Jizo, Jizo, Jizo statue. Um, what again? We'll never use it. Come in here, listen to this remnant. Uh, there is nothing here. I always end up doing it. I always go. Up, I know there's nothing up there. Just in case something appeared. No, there's nothing there. And uh, yeah, on we go. So if you need to rest, if you've got not much health left, then you're going to have to go through the gates and do that. Uh, it's just dead ahead there. And then you can jump across using the branch on the right hand side. So here you can do that. And then jump across using the branch. Kill the guy with the gong, the alarm. Uh, and then you'll be at the point where I'm going to now. Which is up here. So this is the, that's the one with the gong there. So just kill him. You can ignore the rest of the enemies because they will all come back. And we're going to do another quick boss fight. Speak to this guy. Um, say hello to him. Uh, I think it's introduce yourself or something like that. Yeah, greet him. Uh, he'll tell you that he can hear a noise. You'll say that you can't hear it. Keep going through all the dialogue until he's repeating himself. And then... Um, yeah, he's got a quest line that we're not going to use, really. We're just going to sacrifice him to get some stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't need him, really, but that's going to move him on. So you can see our next boss is down there, so do another backup save. We're going to do this one in exactly the same way as we just did the last one, so you don't want to burn through all your sugar by dying. It just makes the game easier, and that's what you're here for. This is a guide. So, Ungo Sugar, you can take that from up here, and then lock onto him. Get that first death blow. And then exactly the same. So, axe, one, two. He is a bit quicker. He will block as well. Uh, but he, he will just keep going. You can see you don't take much damage from him. Uh, his posture bar will fill up a lot quicker than the previous one as well. And I was just a bit slow there. Because uh, he backed away just too far. And he managed to uh, empty his posture bar a bit by doing that charge kind of thing. It's okay though, we're going to cut through. I did lose a bit too much health there than I would have liked, but uh, it's fine. You're going to get the Scrap Magnum Knight and a Prayer Bead. And uh, that's pretty much all we're going to do for this video, to be honest. So we're in the hole where we started the game. Uh, if you jump up here, there's going to be some Scrap Iron. This leads to the Abandoned Dungeon. Uh, I'm not going to go in there yet, but I think... I think there may have been actually a, an idol there we could have got. It doesn't matter. We're coming into that dungeon from a different way anyway, so it's not a problem. Uh, just grab that scrap iron for now. Uh, you can either use the uh, the idol, the homeward idol, to go back to the dilapidated temple, or you can run back uh, this way if you wish. But we are making our way back to the idol. It probably would have been quicker just to use the Homeward Idol. Ah, it's only here. Yeah. It seems quicker than it is. Uh, longer than it is. I'm going to go back to Dilapidated Temple. Because that's where we finish all of our videos apparently. Uh, they won't always finish here. Just kind of how it's working out. Because we're getting all the prosthetic tools. And we did just get a new one. So that's what we're doing. Just going to speak to him again. Uh, you'll see that give drink is now an option for certain characters. Uh, it just It's the drink, the um, sake that you get and things like that. You can just give it to certain characters and it opens up dialogue. It's not essential. Uh, I do have two upgrade options here. So I'm going to actually be able to ha have enough to do both. Don't worry if you don't. Uh, just do it as you go along, really. So I'm going to upgrade both of those. That opens some more up. Obviously, the white dot means yes, you can do it. Red dot means no. Uh, you can't do it. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. We're going to move into the castle next. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.